Hello and welcome to the SP Senior Medicare Patrol Podcast, Sip and Learn with SP. Thank you for joining us today. I am Johnetta with Senior Medicare Patrol. I'm the Complex Interaction Specialist for Georgia, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Vermont. So today, the topic for today will be prescription drug fraud. We're going to discuss what to look out for and also how we can prevent it. And of course, as always, we'll give you a little bit of information about the s and program. And I'm Danae, Community Outreach Specialist for Senior Medicare Patrol in the Mississippi area. Now, before we get started, I do need to let you know that this is a project supported by the Administration for Community Living, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, as a part of a financial assistance award with 100% funding by ACL and HHS. The contents are those of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of nor an endorsement by ACL, HHS, or the U.S. The, excuse me, the U.S. government. So let's get started. Janetta, what is prescription drug fraud, and can you give us some examples of this? Great question, Danae. Yes, absolutely. So there are so many types of prescription drug schemes out there. This fraud primarily occurs when Medicare is billed for a medication that was not um, received or if a beneficiary is intentionally given a different prescription drug other than what was prescribed. So some examples of this would be billing Medicare for prescription drugs that were never picked up. Um, they were never delivered or never prescribed. Billing Medicare for prescriptions that were prescribed by a healthcare provider that you never saw. Or billing for amounts beyond the quantity uh, that you were prescribed. Billing Medicare for a different prescription drug, um, often a more uh, expensive drug. Another example would be a pharmacy that intentionally provides less medication than prescribed or issues expired drugs. A pharmacy that provides and bills for an expensive compounded medication. A company offering you free or discount prescription drugs without a treating physician's order, and then they bill Medicare. A pharmacy offering gift cards or any other type of compensation. So you switch your prescription over to a specific pharmacy. So they're bribing you to change your pharmacy. A pharmacy automatically filling a prescription you no longer need, or if you don't pick up a prescription, but the pharmacy still bills Medicare. And lastly, an individual offering to pay you for the use of your Medicare number to bill for prescription drugs or offering you cash or other compensation to pick up prescriptions on your behalf. So those are some examples and things to look out for. So Danae, tell us what can you do or what can we do to stop prescription drug fraud? Well, first off, Janetta, thank you so much for explaining prescription drug fraud and giving those examples. To answer your question of what we can do to stop prescription drug fraud, number one, be sure that your doctor has assessed your condition before prescribing you any medication. So the thing to remember is, did my doctor order it? Um, do not give out your Medicare number or other personal information to unknown individuals requesting it for prescription drug services. Be suspicious of all uh, unsolicited calls and offers for free or discounted drug prescriptions. Nothing is free. <laughs> <laughs> Always read your Medicare summary notices or explanation of benefits to watch for the names of unknown providers and billing of prescriptions or other services that you did not receive. 
If you notice a charge on your Medicare drug plan for prescriptions that you did not receive or for drugs different than the ones that you were prescribed, report your concerns and possible fraud, errors, and abuse to your local SP. Um, so, Janetta, can you tell us about prescription drug identity theft? Absolutely. Be especially weary if someone requests your Medicare number or your driver's license to evaluate your prescription history. And this could be at a health fair, a senior center, an assisted living facility, a mall even, farmer's market, any type of home shows, uh, a parking lot outside retail stores, or anything that's privately sponsored like wellness event, things like that. These venues are high risk for medical identity theft. Medical identity theft occurs when someone steals or uses your Medicare number to submit fraudulent claims to Medicare without your authorization. Medical identity theft may disrupt your medical care and could result in financial harm, which means you could be billed in a, you know, for something that's actually not yours or that you didn't receive. Okay, Danae, how are the fraudsters benefiting from these errors? And how do you contact Senior Medicare Patrol if you need to get a hold of us? Well, um, that's a great question. And thank you for enlightening us on um, the prescription drug fraud and identity theft. So to explain how the fraudsters are benefiting from these errors and how we can con uh, connect with SMP, well, first of all, criminals are ranging from healthcare providers to drug trafficking organizations, uh, and they continue to commit prescription drug fraud mainly because it's profitable. Unfortunately, there is a strong illegal market for prescription drugs, including control drugs such as op opioids and expensive prescriptions such as autoimmune uh, medications. If you have questions or concerns, you can contact Senior Medicare Patrol by calling our toll-free number at 877-272-8720, Monday through Friday, and uh, that would be between the hours of 8.30 and 5 Central Time. We also have a website called, uh, at www.stopmedicarefraud.org. Um, and you can contact the SP National Resource Center at 877 808 2468. Or you can go to the website smpresource.org um, and they can connect you to the National SP Hotline to your state's SP program. So, Janetta, can you tell us about the three keys to fighting Medicare fraud, prevent, detect, and report? Absolutely. Our three keys to protect yourself from Medicare fraud are, as Danae said, prevent, detect, and report. The first one is prevent. We always ask our seniors to treat their Medicare card like a debit or credit card. Don't give out that information to anyone unless you know who it is. If the doctor's office asks you for that information, then sure, it's okay. But if you don't know that person and they're calling you over the phone and they're not like an authorized medical professional that you don't know, don't give out that information. Remember, Medicare won't call to ask for your Medicare number. The next one is detect. Keep track of your visits to the doctor your visits to the clinic, hospital, pharmacy, just keep track of everything and compare those visits to your Medicare summary notice, also known as your MSN, or your explanation of benefits, also known as your EOB. Review this information for any potential errors. Also, um, things to look for would be double billing, charges for services not received, and or any type of services that were not ordered by your doctor. And last but not least, 
is report. If you suspect that you have been a victim of Medicare fraud, report it immediately. Contact SMP for assistance with any type of Medicare scams, waste, and abuse. Remember, reporting any possible errors or fraud helps to save your benefits and it protects others from becoming a victim. So again, you can call our toll-free number at 877-272-8720, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5 Central Time, we also have our website, www.stopmedicarefraud.org. Or you can also reach us on our social media and Facebook. And we also have some videos and things on YouTube. So we always ask you to reach out to that as well. Okay, so that was an overview of prescription drug fraud. We hope you enjoyed this topic. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we hope you join us again for the next episode of Sip and Learn with SNP.